What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's video. And if you can see by the title, it is how do I make money? How do you, what do you do for money? Uh, what is your career path? So for me, um, I feel like I have owed you guys this video for quite some time because a lot of you are following me from my pharmacy rotation series where my goal was to become a pharmacist and of course like practice in pharmacy. Um, so you guys did follow me and then I guess since then there hasn't been much pharmacy content. So I guess I do feel like I owe you guys this and what I've been doing since then. So I graduated pharmacy school. Um, it's a six year process. I graduated in May and since then um, you have a two year window to get your licensing exams done and that's the NAPLEX, pretty much a national test to see if you know pharmaceutical knowledge and then you also have your state law exam. So New Jersey for me. Um, so you have two years from when your rotation years or your rotation hours are going to be valid for. So those API hours, which is the rotation year, that six year of pharmacy school, 1600 hours of pharmacy work unpaid where you're learning on the job. Um, so I'm pretty sure you only have two years uh, in between that and when those are valid to take those exams, get those accomplished. Um, so I haven't taken those yet. And honestly, I don't think I plan to right now. So my goal during college, um, at least the last year or two, what my goal was to do was to start out, get a job in pharmacy, probably hopefully at that time I wanted to work at ShopRite because I love the way and I love the, I guess, the vibe of the ShopRite that I've worked at. Um, so I want to do like part-time pharmacy to start 20, 30 hours, then do online fitness coaching on the side because I mean, if you guys are following my fitness channel, you know I have a uh, I love for health and fitness. I love for teaching people about health and fitness and just simplifying this whole confusing nutrition weight loss thing and simplifying it for people that have struggled with it over time. So I wanted to, again, do part-time pharmacy, part-time online coaching, and then eventually have those hours come down and have fitness coaching be my full-time job. And then maybe do a little bit of um, really part-time pharmacy, like six hours or even none if I can get my um, pharmacy business to grow. I mean, my online coaching business to grow to that extent because again, you got to support a family, you got to support yourself, you got to be able to food, afford shelter, food, and just make a living. So what happened to me when I finished my pharmacy rotations? Um, the last day of pharmacy rotations, that was April 30th. We don't walk for graduation until mid-May, so there's like two to three weeks right then. So what I did during that time, the day I finished my rotations, I invested in a business coach. Someone who specialized with fitness coaches and I just really wanted to understand more of the business aspect and to see maybe if I could do this full time. And that was a great choice for me. I learned a lot, I guess, on the business aspect. And just for me personally, when I was working as a fitness coach in college, my perception, um, and again, if a lot of my viewers are younger, high school, college, you'll understand this. Um, the perception of money is just, it's a scarcity at that point. You don't have a full-time job. A lot of professionals, just a lot of people are making 30, 40, 50 and up uh, dollars an hour. And like for us, we're making 10, maybe $15 an hour. So the, like for a fitness coach at this time, I can only, um, I thought $200, $250 for a 12 week program was really expensive. Just the people around me, like they could barely afford that. So it was just perception in that case. And then of course, when I graduated and just learned more about the real world, people that have graduated at full-time salaries, people that want to prioritize their health and fitness, um, to make that commitment also, um, it's, I mean, sometimes it does have to be a financial commitment and people make this in personal training. And I looked at the prices of personal training. It's 1500, 2000, $3,000 for a 12 week program. And I've seen people do that vicious cycle and not see results. Um, nothing against personal training, but it's very hard to guarantee results or even just to, for clients to get those results if they're seeing a trainer um, two to three sessions of 30 to 60 minutes um, and expect weight loss to come from that because a lot of people treat themselves after a workout. We'll have a couple slices of pizza. It's like, oh, I worked for it. I burned 200 calories. So let me have 400 calories of ice cream tonight. Let me have half a pint of Ben and Jerry's. Doesn't really work like that. And you're not going to see those results that you're looking for. So online coaching is such um, something that can provide so much more value, I feel, than I guess personal training because you get that 24 seven accountability, you're controlling nutrition, um, and then you can also check in once a week as well as make that training plan. So a lot of times with personal training, you're gonna make a training plan or you're gonna teach someone how to do their exercises that first week. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be a lot of education for a client at that point. They're gonna learn how to do these movements, but then 
at the weeks after that, they just pretty much have to add weight, get that progressive overload. That's what stimulates muscle mass and um, growing muscle. So pretty much if you can set that game plan um, and they keep adding weight, they're going to see those results that they're looking for. And they really just need that accountability, that support and to be there for them 24 seven. And that at that point, you can really guarantee results. If they follow your nutrition and training and they're showing up to accountability, asking questions, you can guarantee results. But if you're only accounting for the training, maybe even to the extent of after the first couple of weeks, you may just be counting reps. Um, if the training doesn't change too much, then at that point, I don't think there's as much value being given there. So I think that online coaching can provide more value and guarantee results. Um, so I guess with investing in a business coach, for me, I've been training people for a long time through the online platform. I've worked with right now over 210 people. And the way I started this, and now I'm able to do online fitness coaching full time and very thankful for the opportunity. And I guess the four step process in doing that, and I guess the, the path that I took to getting there is now I know I can guarantee people results. If they follow the game plan, I know that I can get them the results. If they value their, their goals to a high extent, then we're gonna make it happen. If they trust me to get them there. Um, so the way that I got this, um, I guess if you have any entrepreneurial goals, there's always the foundation in starting any business um, and the foundation is gonna be some kind of service or just solving some kind of problem because that's, I guess, what every business should do. So the foundation should always be providing value. Provide value to your customers. Solving a problem that they struggle with and, of course, just <laughs> being of value, being of service. So if you can give someone some value, then you deserve to get paid. So I guess in my case, as a fitness coach, if I get people results, then yes, I deserve to get paid if they value those results. In the case that um, you're not getting people to their end goal, they're trusting you with their fitness goals, they're trusting you with some kind of goal, or they're trusting you to get them a service, they pay you, um, you don't deserve to get paid unless you follow through on that service, unless you do your job pretty much. Um, so that's always the foundation of any business that you're gonna run, um, and I feel like it's just being of service to your clients and helping them towards what they need, um, what they're trusting you to do for them. So I guess in starting um, a business, what I would say is master your craft, master your niche, for me, learn nutrition, master my own body, make like learn how to make myself gain and lose weight. I'm my own guinea pig. Then step two was to take on some free clients, took on six to eight of my friends said, hey, I'll do your training, I'll do your nutrition coaching. Then I got better, got uh, more confident with coaching others. I knew that I could repeat the results of seeing with myself, could give it to other people that were following the game plan. Then I started charging for my services, giving those people results. And over time, it really grew to where I'm, um, I have a lot of, testimonials or I just know like there are people that I've served that may speak highly of me. I haven't had a dissatisfied client ever. Um, so I'm happy to say that. And so if you can provide that value, then eventually you can charge your worth or charge that value that you provide. So if anyone has entrepreneur, entrepreneurial goals, however you say that, then definitely just pretty much make it a goal to serve others serve other people, put out free content, put out free value, and then people will in turn trust you with their goals. Maybe you want to see what your paid service is. So I am a full-time online fitness coach right now. That is my main source of income right now. I don't see myself doing my pharmacy licensing exams. I don't really see myself practicing as a pharmacist. Just the way things are going right now, I'm really fully invested into growing my business, serving my clients, which is actually very enjoyable for me right now. I do weekly live face-to-face uh, -face -face video chats with each client. And it's really fun that I'm able to share in their progress. Um, working in health and fitness, um, also like I know pharmacists are working in the health field. The thing I like about working as a coach, so I get to see people change week to week, see their confidence increase, because again, confidence comes from accomplishment. If there's something you struggle with and you're able to accomplish it in the future, that builds confidence. So that's why I guess weightlifting is so valuable to me, especially in building my own confidence, because when I was younger, I had zero self-confidence, but when you go into the gym the first day, the bar is gonna be heavy for you. 135 is gonna be heavy for you. But then like when you're able to overcome that, you're able to keep progressing, you're just making all these accomplishments and like baby steps up the way, and that's gonna build just self-confidence. And then also for anyone just working anywhere, having fitness in your life is just gonna help you breed confidence and just be better and I guess do your job even better. So for me right now, um, I'm the founder of the 12-week Healthy Flex Prescription, and this specific program is designed for high-level entrepreneurs, high-level entrepreneurs, and then also um, busy professionals just in general that are have been struggling with their health, their fitness. 
Um, and really want to take advantage of their energy levels, bring them up to a high extent so they can get their biggest impact on the world, just be the most successful as possible. And then also I use those long-term sustainable practices because you can get short-term results in like 12 weeks. You can just eat chicken and broccoli out of a Tupperware. You're going to see great progress, probably lose 20 pounds, but 12 weeks and one days from that start, you're going to have a pizza box in one hand, you're going to have a carton of ice cream in the other hand, you're going to lose all that progress that you made. So really learning a sustainable process. That's what I try to teach my clients. So the point of this video is also just to talk about in general, like what am I doing post-graduation? What are my income streams? So online coaching is the main thing I do. Um, I spend probably like 50, 60 hours working on that a week, uh, maybe even 70 or 80 I work on the weekends, but it's what I love to do. And if you can find something you really love to do that you can get really good at, then I say just pursue that as much as you can. Um, even though, <laughs> so I also hope that by you guys watching this, this can be a, like inspiring for you um, because I know a lot of people, especially my mom included, she wasn't all for me becoming a full-time online fitness coach. She's like, all right, you spent six years, all this time, all this money, $125,000 in debt for being a doctor in pharmacy. And she's like, you're not even going to practice. I was like, no, I think I can, I can do something with this. I love doing this. And I think I can be really good and provide value to others. Um, and then I guess over the past few months, I think she's finally come to terms and really trust me to, I guess, do this full time. So mama, mama heinous is behind me now. So that's good. And I hope that can be an inspiration to you guys. Even if you do have a college degree and you spend all this money, forget about it. Just pay your loans off as you go. But like today's a new day, just focus on the business that you're building or whatever you're doing, but just make sure that you're focusing on what lies ahead. Don't get too bent, bent out of shape over maybe a mistake that you made. For me personally, I've learned so much in college that isn't just restricted to pharmaceutical knowledge. Um, I've learned self-discipline. I took on the hard pharmacy program, which has taught me to acquire information quickly. And I'm just very thankful for going to Rutgers and learning those kinds of things in addition to pharmaceutical knowledge. So back to the point of the video, this is just in general, like what I am doing um, after graduation. So the other things that I'm also doing right now, um, I do have some notes taken. So the second thing that I guess I get paid to do is I am a sponsored athlete with PE signs. So that I get commission with. So if you use my discount code, Kevin at checkout for 15% off, I do get commission based on that. And I'm so thankful for that opportunity to work with PE Science because I've been working, I've been using their supplements for a long period of time. Even before they sponsored me, I was taking their pre-workouts, high volume and pre prolific. So those have always been in my repertoire and I just like really love their supplements. Ever since I've been working with them, I also dabbled with their protein powders in the past. And now I've really developed a love for that frosted chocolate cupcake flavor. And as you see, I always make that protein pudding in the mornings. So I guess that would also be my second income stream. So I also have Buff Penguin and that has been kind of on the back burner lately. Me and Nicole, we went to China last December and I was looking for someone to be my new supplier for the t-shirts. And Nicole also was looking for a fabric supplier for her company, Swolithic. And she did a good job. She has great apparel coming in. So definitely I say check out her stuff. For me though, the guy that I decided on who was giving me a better price and better quality of t-shirt, um, what ended up happening is he lost my order or something. And then now I'm trying to work either back with him and then, or maybe find someone else. I'm working with Nicole's cousin who's over there. So it's just been a mess of things and it's hard to work maybe across the world. But um, it's also just been on the back burner. I can't make too many excuses because honestly, it hasn't been my number one priority. Of course, my number one priority is my online fitness coaching business and then also getting those clients results. So I'd much rather spend more time there because I don't see Buff Penguin being my like full time. This is going to be this big thing. I'd rather serve my clients with online coaching and have that be my main um, fulfilling and also like source of income. Um, I guess besides that, I'm also a model with J Corday Models. So this is something getting out of my comfort zone. I've never really been a model or I don't understand how that all works. So I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I am signed under contract with J Corday Models and we're gonna see how that grows, what kind of relationship comes out of that. And I'm pretty excited to see, I guess, how that life is for a legitimate model. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. The other thing is YouTube. So what about that YouTube money? So to be honest, I have nearly 6,000 subscribers. Thank you guys, um, I guess, for following me to this point. Um, and to be honest, if you want to be a full-time YouTuber, 
it's not that lucrative unless you're very high up there in, I guess, that ad revenue. So I think for me, I've been on here three or four years, maybe even five years. I think I have uh, over 100 videos, maybe close to 200 videos, but um, I think I've made in total maybe two or 300, maybe I think it's like $200 in total. So not much revenue has come out of that YouTube money, but pretty much what I use this, similar to Instagram, these are platforms for me to get free information out there. Um, so for me, um, if I provide you guys with free content, free information, people oftentimes can like take that and run with it. Um, some people feel like they're inspired or they just like getting entertainment from this. But and in me giving out so much free content, sometimes people are like, wow, this is a really knowledgeable person, I guess, in health and fitness. What can he do for me? And sometimes I do get clients out of that, especially with Instagram. So again, coming down to the business aspect, put out free value, um, set yourself up as an authority, and then people may want to work with you. People will want to see what your paid services are. Um, so for me, YouTube is just another way for me out to get out free content, educate people. And for me personally, I like using YouTube as a source of entertainment and information. So for me to watch people, so like a painter's day in the life or like a plumber's day in the life, I think that's interesting. See how the other half lives. So for me, showing you guys what like a fitness coach does all day or like what my training's like as an educational thing, if you guys wanna replicate some of my training plans. Um, also my day of eatings, that's supposed to hopefully show you how flexible you can be while still hitting your fitness goals. And then next year I'm gonna be competing in a couple bodybuilding shows. So not everyone has it in them to compete in those, but to see maybe how the preparation process is for that, how I guess nitty gritty my macros are gonna be and how I guess difficult it's gonna be for me. It's gonna be a cool challenge for me personally. I'm gonna feel like crap towards the end of it, but it should be some entertaining content for you guys, I hope. Um, so just gonna be using YouTube for that. Um, I don't really wanna rely on this as my sole source of income, but it wouldn't be bad if that's a side, side income. So the fifth, I guess, source of income, would that be the sixth? Um, my OnlyFans account. <laughs> I'm just kidding with that. Um, I do get DMs here and there saying, oh, you should have an OnlyFans account, but I think it's some kind of thing with like a webcam, a grapefruit, and the Kai Green. So I don't know, it's not, not my uh, goal, personally. So we'll go into my future goals right now, my future career goals. Number one thing is just keep growing my online coaching business, keep serving my clients, getting them results. If you check out my Instagram, I have previous clients. Um, I also have an Instagram dedicated to testimonials with my clients, so check that out. And I just wanna keep serving my clients, keep getting awesome results. Um, the next thing is in growing my business, maybe being able to take on more people that I can handle personally at once and then start hiring assistants, teaching my assistants to do the same kind of practice that I do, then we can serve more people, impact more lives, and of course, just keep things moving, keep things growing, and just doing right by others, getting the US to be healthier and also not restricted to Tupperware lifestyle. The third thing that I really wanna work on is public speaking. Um, me personally, I've never been the most confident guy just growing up, I guess more so now than I was, um, but I do wanna improve my public speaking skills and I'm not sure if that's gonna be like a source of income or just in general. I did teach a class the other day. I was a guest lecturer on entrepreneurship, but um, that was fun to be able to public speak, but maybe do more of those kinds of engagements in the future, maybe more podcasts. Continue to collaborate with cool companies. Uh, Super Snack Time sent me some cool stuff today. Their pepperoni jerky is actually really damn good, but I wouldn't say it's gonna be easy to fit into your macros every day. Um, I get to work with Enlightened here and there, so a lot of these cool opportunities wouldn't have come through if I wasn't giving out that free content on social media. And I'm not just trying to take pictures of myself and be like, oh, here are my abs. I'm trying to teach you guys stuff. So usually you'll hear about like where my calories are at, what my goals are, and hopefully you're be able to pick things up with that and maybe even replicate those kinds of results in your own training, especially with high frequency arm training, which I still stand behind. Maybe if you've experimented with that, learned that from me, I hope that impacts you um, in a positive. The other thing, YouTube, keep growing this, but it's mainly gonna be to trans transfer knowledge that I'm putting out there or just show you guys what I do on a day-to-day -day basis Hope you get education, information, or just entertainment from it. Um, I don't, again, I don't see this being my full-time job. And as you can see, because of that, this isn't my number one priority. So I think last week I wasn't able to get out a video because I was focusing first on serving my current clients. Second is putting out good Instagram content. And that also, just because I've been on there longer, I have a greater outreach, which can get me more clients to of course, leave a positive impact, give them value. Um, and of course, make a living, <laughs> honestly. Um, so YouTube is maybe priority number three or four. 
But with YouTube, I do want to put out information, share with stuff with you guys. I feel it builds a better connection with an audience too. So I hope you guys do get some value out of this. And I guess down below, t tell me like what you get most out of my channel. What do you like me uh, doing food challenges and just entertainment, learning my full days of eating, what kind of stuff is going to help fit your macros. Um, those pizzas I've heard some people replicated and that was good. Um, or also like information that you can replicate with like training. Um, let me know down below like what you get most value from from these YouTube videos. Um, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. I think it's really interesting. And again, as I said earlier, um, I do want to inspire some people. Um, if you are like me, six years of pharmacy school and pharmacy school is here and I just took a complete right or left turn just went in a different direction. Um, I do have to pay off $125,000 of student loans. But again, I'm trying to show you guys that if you do love something, if you get good enough at it, you can provide others with value, you can make that into a business. Um, just again, serve your clients and make a positive impact. Let me know what you learned down below. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And keep it flexible.